Dearly beloved, we're gathered here in the presence of God to witness and bless the exchanging of vows that will bind Nicholas and Hannah together in the covenant relationship of marriage. And so begins the next part of the journey. The two of you have a unique beginning, to say the least, to have worked your way through life and be so alike in so many ways. Both of you the firstborn, both of you born to, to families that support and love their family above all things. And as you began to discover one another, it happened quicker than most people would have anticipated, but only because you both were at a stage in life where you knew what it was that you were looking for, and you both knew that you found it. We who have been married for a long time know that the joy will never go away. Your circumstances will change, but they will not dictate your joy in one another. Therefore, a man shall leave his father and mother and be joined to his wife, and they shall become one flesh. Well, nobody that uh, knows me believes I'm gonna make it very far in this service without breaking down. Matter of fact, somebody at church came up to me on Sunday and said, the latest odds are you won't make it past a minute. I could not be more pleased with a son-in-law than Nicholas McQueen. Couldn't have handpicked somebody any better, Nicholas. I knew the first time I met Nick that this was the guy for you, and I knew what was going on in your heart, Hannah. I don't usually get to see the groom's face if I'm doing a ceremony because I'm uh, on this side, but Nick, just to see, see your face as you looked at my daughter and the love that you have for her. And Hannah, I know the enormous respect and honor that you have for Nicholas. So this is a picture of a greater reality, a greater relationship of the gospel. In a wedding, God not only attends, He participates. What God has joined together, let no man put asunder. Nicholas, in taking Hannah to be your wife, do you promise to honor, to love, and to cherish her in sickness as in health, in poverty as in wealth, in hardship as in blessing until death alone shall part you? I do. Hannah, in taking Nicholas to be your husband, do you so promise to honor, to love, and to cherish him in sickness as in health, in poverty as in wealth, in hardship as in blessing until death alone shall part you? I do. I, Nicholas, take you, Hannah. To be my lawful wedded wife. To be my lawful wedded wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better or for worse. For richer, for poor. For richer or for poor. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. As Christ loved the church and gave himself up for her. As Christ loved the church and gave himself up for her. Till death do us part. Till death do us part according to God's holy ordinance, according to God's holy ordinance, and thereby I pledge to you my loyalty. And thereby I pledge to you my loyalty. I, Hannah, take you, Nicholas. I, Hannah, take you, Nicholas. To be my lawful wedded husband. To be my lawful wedded husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poor. For richer, for poor. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. As Christ loved the church and gave himself up for her. As Christ loved the church and gave himself up for her. Till death do us part. Till death do us part. According to God's holy ordinance. According to God's holy ordinance. And thereby I pledge to you my loyalty. And thereby I pledge to you my loyalty. Inasmuch as you, Nicholas, and you, Hannah, have chosen to declare your desire to be united in marriage before God, and inasmuch as you have pledged your unconditional love and fidelity before these witnesses as a minister of the gospel of Jesus Christ, it is my privilege to declare your husband and wife what therefore God has joined together let no man separate. It is my honor and great pleasure to present to you Dr. and Mrs. Nicholas McQueen. 